Thank you for joining me here again at Lulu's Toy Review. So guys, today we're doing something a little bit different because I received a mystery box from a friend. Yes, I have a friend and she was nice enough to put together this mystery box and send it over to me. I thought it would be really fun to open it on my channel so we can find out what's inside together. I have some ideas about what could be in there, but I'm not totally sure but I am super excited to find out. So let's get started. All right, guys, so here is the box and it is a big one. It's also extremely heavy, so I am so wondering what could be inside here. Firstly, I love these LOL stickers. I'm gonna have to ask her where she found them because they are so, so adorable. And then there is a little note. So it says, a little something for Lulu. Please take care of them. They need a new home and lots, lots of love. I know you've been searching for them. Enjoy. Love, Juju. And this box is from an Instagram friend. Her name is J-H-U Soul, and I will link her Instagram in the description down below so you can check her out. She takes really nice pictures, and she's such a cool person. So let's go ahead and cut this box open. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Oh, oh, OMG. That is a ton of LPS so so many i am in shock right now so if you guys have watched my channel for a while you'll know that i've done a lot of lps videos but all of them have been about new pets because i came to the game a little bit late so all my videos have been about new pets and i've been searching thrift stores and everywhere else for old pets and i've not had much luck so I am in shock right now to see all of these old LPS. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, so we're going to take a look at all of these. I am sort of in shock right now. Let's put the box over here. Actually, let me show you guys the box real quick. Look at all of these pets. Oh my gosh, guys. This has to be like a huge chunk of her collection. Oh my gosh, I hope these are duplicates. <laughs> I don't want to take all her pets. Okay, let me get these puppies out. So guys, just to put things into perspective, I've been looking for LPS for quite a while now and I've spent hours in a thrift store digging through plastic bags just to pull out one single LPS monkey and I was shook by it. So I've been watching so much LPS content and seeing so much LPS photography that that one single monkey blew my mind. So having this many LPS I am just speechless. I cannot believe these are my possession. It's so surreal, but I am so happy to have them. I knew that I couldn't take one out at a time and talk about them because, let's be honest, I talk a lot and I talk in a lot of detail and I talk very slowly. So if I were to do that, this video would literally be five to six hours long. And let's be honest, nobody wants to see that. So. I categorized them and talked about them in groups and then at the end I did talk about some of them individually because I couldn't help myself but I hope you guys really enjoy it and I hope you guys are as happy as I am to see all of these lovely LPS. So first up we have what I would call our zoo animals. So we have two beautiful ponies, a polar bear two pandas which are just too stinking cute i love them we have some monkeys with pink bows in their hair and one with violet eyes we have this giraffe which has the cutest eyes and little circles all over it and a lion guys a lion oh my gosh 
a little deer with some markings on it, which I love. A little peach pig with little polka dots in its ears. A fox and a raccoon. All of these are just so unique. I love how each one looks so different. So this next group starts off with a little gecko and he actually has a textured body which I thought was really cool. We have a little penguin and these two birdies that can actually be placed on a perch. We have these huge eyed bugs, a dragonfly and a little butterfly. They are so adorable. And then we have this stork. I didn't even know that LPS had a stork but look at that beak. And then this guy, I love him. He is serving up some strong side eye. He looks like he would not take any of your you know what. He is so, so fun. They are all super unique as well. So then we start getting into the kitty cats and my heart just cannot take the cuteness. This first one with its turned down eyelashes on the bottom, oh my gosh. I love this second one too, he looks so cute. And this little tabby cat, this Siamese, oh my gosh, these short hair cats are just so cute. This one has flocking around its eye, which is just so adorable. Then we have these two paw up kittens, oh my gosh, I can't take the cuteness. The little yellow one, its eyes are just too adorable and its little pink nose. Then you have these two, I love her eyes as well, and this little baby tabby cat, oh my gosh guys, I love cats and these LPS cats are just too cute for words. And the short hair cat is just a classic LPS, I love these so, so much. So next up is our first group of dogs, and I think all of these have a red paw, meaning they're older. So this poodle is so adorable, and these boxers, I just love the coloring on them. You can tell the older pets are more muted in color and their eyes are smaller, and they just have a certain charm. You can tell the difference between them and the newer pets. I love that little puppy with the green eyes and the Doberman on the end. They're just so adorable. So here's our second group of dogs. We have this dachshund on the end with these butterflies and swirls. So pretty. Then we have these two basset hounds, one of which has the fuzziest ears, which I thought was such a cool touch. Then we have a little puppy with a gradient paint job and his tongue is out and he looks like he's having so much fun. And I love this gray themed one with the blue eyes, so beautiful. This little greyhound looks so charmingly sad. And this guy with the green eyes looks mischievous. I love these two on the end. The one on the end with his tongue out is just so, so cute. All of these puppies are so unique. I can't stop saying it, but every single LPS is different. It's amazing. And lastly, we have these pets, which to me are just the classic LPS. I've seen these in so many videos, LPS Popular, LPS Honeys videos. They're just the classic pets, the short hair cats, the dachshund, the collie, and the great dane, the five little pets that I just can't believe I own. It's very, very surreal to me. So I am going to talk about some of the pets individually, just ones that I really, really like or that have unique features, starting with this little bunny rabbit here. I just love her. I think she may be my favorite out of all of them, though it is hard to decide right now. But I love her eyelashes. They're so long and beautiful. I love the diamonds in her eyes. She just has the most unique face. And I love her ears. One is light pink and one is a darker pink. She is just so pretty. I think she's one of the older pets because she does have the blue button on the bottom of her paw. So I think she is one of the older ones, but she is just so adorable. So here is a second bunny rabbit, and this one also is an old one. It has the red button under its paw, and this one is so cute. I love the paint jobs on these older pets. They're so natural and pretty. I love its violet eyes, 
and its face. It just looks so, so adorably cute. And then we have a third bunny rabbit. This one has its ears down and its little tooth coming out of the front there. It's so adorable. I love the little tuft of hair on its head and its blue eyes are so cute. So next up we have this little hermit crab and I just cannot get over how cute its face is. It's so adorable. I love that when you put it down on the table it looks like it's looking up at you with its little sad eyes and it looks like this one also has little diamonds in its eyes and I love the little purple hair bow. Just a great touch. So these next few all have a special characteristic. This one is a little baby skunk and he has a big bushy fluffy tail on the end of him. He looks so so cozy and cute. I love the little flower marks in his eyes and he is just so adorable. So within that same vein, we have here a flocked LPS. I did not even know that they made flocked LPS, but I think this one is pretty cool. So I'm not sure what kind of animal it is. I think it's a puppy, maybe a chihuahua, but he's really, really cute. I love the flocking and I love the pets with these wavy eyes. I think the eye pattern for these is just really cool and neat looking. So here we have a little mop dog and this is another one of my favorites. I love how one eye is covered and he has these little pieces of yarn hanging off that look like fur. So adorable. I also really love the color that they used for the eyes, this seafoam green on the eye and the bow. It's just so pretty. So here we have a little hamster and I fell in love with this guy as soon as I saw him. I love his little face and his body. It's so much different than the cats and dogs. He's more squat and round. He looks like a little tater tot. <laughs> He's just so cute. I love the pets that are looking up at you. It just makes them look so charming and so adorable. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. So here we have this little guy and oh, he's gonna fly out of my hand there. I think he may be a flying squirrel or maybe a wombat, something to that effect, but I just thought he was so adorable. I love the little wrinkles above his eyes and I love his arms spread out with his wings. He just looks like he is ready to take off and make flight. So, so adorable.
Next we have this little guy. I think he may be a Yorkie dog. I could be wrong about that, but he is so adorable and he has a unique feature, which are his eyes. They are glass eyes and I don't think I've ever really seen that on LPS, but I'm no expert, believe me. I just thought they looked really cool. They make him look so lively and just way more realistic. So I think he's really special and unique for that reason. So here we have a little lamb, and I think he must have been a special edition. He has all of these painted pieces on him, like artwork, and I think these toys should be considered artwork in and of themselves. So to see one that actually has a special design like this, it's really cool. I like the artwork itself. I think it's colorful and unique and it just looks so, so good. I really, really love this one. And here we have a teensy weensy little kitten. I don't know what it is about these little kittens, but they just steal my heart. They're so, so cute. And there's just something about them that makes me smile. So this next one is another one of my favorites. I love pigs and this one is such a beautiful color pink. I love his seafoam green eyes and he just looks so happy and cheerful. And this one is another one of my absolute favorites. It's a little bat and he has glitter ears, glitter wings, and glitter stars on him. He looks so, so cool. I love the position of his arms. He has one of them up and then the other one covering his chest and his eyes. He just looks like he is over it. He looks like he does not want to listen to any of your lies. He is doing his own thing. And this last one I just thought was so funny. I love his face. He is definitely giving strong side eye. He looks like he just does not want to take any crap from anyone. He looks so, so over it and I just love his face. His body is really cool as well. He has this star pattern and these purple feet and the fin on his head is just super awesome. So guys, that commences my opening of the best mystery box ever. Yes, it is the only mystery box I've ever opened, but by far the best. I don't think anything could top this. There were 72 LPS in that box. They're from all different generations. It's basically a curated collection within itself, and I am so thankful to have them. I love LPS, I love LPS tube, I love LPS content, and it's really surreal to own some of these pets now. I cannot wait to use them in videos and in photos, and I cannot thank my friend Juliana enough. Again, please follow her Instagram, it's at J-H-U-S-O-L. Mine, if you want to catch up with me, is at Lulu's Toy Review. 
and I'll leave both down in the description down below. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Thank you for hanging in there with my terrible voice because I've been really sick this week but I had to make this video because I couldn't wait to open this box. Please subscribe if you feel inclined and have a great day. Bye!